wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Hey, and welcome to this episode of Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. And it's for Wednesday, May 31st, 2021. And as you go through this day and as you as you as you get out and about and you go through this day, take some time to praise God and thank him for everything that he's done in your life. Take some time and and encourage somebody today. Take time to share your faith with someone. You know, all these things seems like something that's a big task to accomplish, and it is. But it's not if you trust in the Lord, if you ask the Lord to show you somebody to encourage, if you ask the Lord to show you somebody to share your faith with, just go out and, and be Jesus to somebody today. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Galatians, chapter number 3, and it's verse 26. Paul writes, For ye are all the children of God, by faith in Christ Jesus. Yesterday I had talked on a topic that it will be clear one day. Jesus is washing the disciples' feet, and he told Peter, you might not understand what I'm doing today, but you will. And one thing I wanted to make sure that we all had a clear understanding of today is that if you've given your life to Jesus, you are a child of God. That's that's what it is. If you've truly 100% given your life to Jesus, you are a new person. You are a child of God. He says in verse 27, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. He says, And if he be Christ, this is verse 29 now, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. We are children of God, those that have put their faith and their life in Jesus Christ. Now Jesus warns us in the Gospels that, that not everyone who called unto him, Lord, Lord, will be saved. The deal is, those of us which truly put our faith in him, which has a changed life, which is doing what God has called us to do, which is living their life according to the word of God. Those are the people I believe are, that are truly saved. Have you ever looked at somebody, maybe somebody that you've known for many years, but maybe haven't talked to in a while, maybe haven't seen in a while, and they've they became a Christian and they've given their life to Christ, and you walk away from that meeting saying, saying, man, that, that's a changed life there. That's not how he used to be. That's not how she used to be. Let me ask you this. If somebody you haven't seen in years suddenly came back into your life, would they be able to tell that you are a Christian by how you talk, by how you walk, by how you act? Or would you have to tell them and they'd say, wow, I would have never guessed it. That's the difference, I think, my friends. Paul wasn't the same after his encounter with Jesus on the Damascus Road. The disciples weren't the same after they spent that three and a half years with Jesus. And we can't be the same when we have our encounter with Jesus either. We've got to change. Be the change and allow God to change you into the person that he wants you to be. Are you willing to do that today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.